So, uh, we're welcoming Mehmet Kurtop from Design and Procurement to Operational Floating Plants. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for coming to um, this event. This is um, Mehmet Kurt. Actually, I am, my position is uh, I'm, I'm Technical Director of Echo Barge. Okay. So, I have, uh, I'm representing here, uh, I came here not only, I, I have Fikret with me, but I'm representing lots of people who is who is now sitting in Istanbul and watching us actually. So my presentation is more on technical side of EcoBarge. It's a little bit boring, but I will, <laughs> I will try to be fast for that. Here is the uh, team leaders. Myself, Fikret, who is together with me now, Halit and Cenk. Mm -hmm. So since 12 years, this team completed 24 floating power plants, three FSRU conversions, and some, I mean, lots of things on land, but those are the more, most impressive ones. So the, why I put this um, power ship uh, on my presentation, because she's carrying my name. I designed it, I built it. So she's pretty nice, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, we are actually with my team, we are taking care of EPC part, engineering, procurement and construction part. Uh, of course, we are starting to work with uh, Victoria from the pre-feasibility stage to the operation. And then we are collecting all the information back for the future project. So we are doing procurement, shipyard contracts, subcontracting, construction, commissioning, lots of boring stuff, I told you. <laughs> and what is EcoBarge? Martin explained already. So we, I mean, we are calling EcoBart as a sustainable platform for any kind of solutions. So, of course, I mean, uh, two main important feature is desalination and power generation, mm -hmm. but you can add lots, lots of things on top of it, such as accommodation, energy storage, boat charging, floating hospital, floating hotel, whatever you can imagine. So, we have two scales of this project, okay? Small scales and big scales. Small scales is not so small, but we are calling small. Uh, we, we modularize everything for easy transportation. So this is a typical layout of a small scale project. Uh, modular barks, modularized container for the processing units, floating solars for energy uh, product pro production, and battery storage containers. And it is scalable so you can add blocks next to each other and then you can extend features which i will explain uh, explain so modular barge why we select modular barges because it should be easy to transfer like tanganyika lake there is no connection to the sea but we can transport it by trucks and we can build without any single welding our um eco barge in tanganyika lake without welding without cutting anything in a couple of Days, we can establish, we can uh, make our barge uh, ready for operation. Okay, that's why our floaters are um, module, uh, modularized floaters. It can be either steel or concrete, depends on. So we're engaging uh, into each other. Those locking mechanism is approved by the classification societies um, to secure, you know, stability of the barge. We have modularized barge on top of our barge we have modularized process units such as desalination such as uh, energy storage such as uh, whatever you want but it's always with a size of 40 feet container or 20 feet container this is the secret this is the key point actually so we are doing uh, pre-engineering for for any kind of process and you can compare i mean this is 3d this is real uh, photos so by this way we are super fast track, we are easy to transfer, to transfer. we are, uh, we, it, those modules are pre-commissioned, so we're not losing time because once you arrive to the site, everybody is looking to your eyes to operate them, right? So we're able to commission our uh, floating power uh, plants or desalination units, echo barks, within a few weeks after we arrive to the site. So desalination, you know, from seawater we are producing fresh water, but we, we, are, we are using different technology than land-based one because our system is once through. So there are lots of technical challenges. I will not bother you, but filtration system is one of the key 
issue there because we are on shallow waters. There are lots of suspend particles inside the water which we need to eliminate, but we have solution for that. This is this is the process that we have pre-treatment, post-treatment, and storage, offshore and onshore depends on requirements actually. This is big lady, fifty thousand cubic meter production per day. We can extend to up to one hundred thousand tons freshwater production per day. It can be uh, powered by offshore wind, solar, shore connections, or any kind of energy source, actually. We have built-in batteries uh, for the peak shaving, let's say, uh, of the renewables, as Martin already described. So it is 150 to 30 meter barge installation. We did all basic engineering and everything is ready, completed. I will skip that one as well even though this 50,000 cbm per day big scale uh, desalination plant uh, echo barge is also contains lots of modules inside and it's already pre-engineered modularized modularized design actually to produce everything in a fast way because okay so i think that's all for that's my session thank you very much thank you, thank you. Thank you.